Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a book review of The Book of Ivy by Amy Engel. If you have followed my journey with this book on Twitter, you will know that I love this book and I want more people to read it. So I decided to do a book review on it. First things first, what is this book about? This book is a dystopian romance. I would really categorize it as a dystopian romance. Basically this book takes place in the future after a nuclear war has destroyed the planet. A group of survivors has banded together to form this town, this little civilization in the middle of the United States before eventually two different sides of this town battled each other for control. Centuries later, we have our protagonist, who is Ivy Westfall. She is the granddaughter of the founder of the town, as well as the loser of the battle. And now, years later, in order to keep peace and prevent rebellion, twice a year, children from both sides of town are forced to marry each other, and this year it is Ivy's turn. This is the first year in which the families of both of the original sides have had daughters and sons to marry each other. So this year it is Ivy's turn and she is being forced to marry Bishop who is the grandson of the original Vladimir family who defeated her family and took away their power in the past. And her job is not only to marry Bishop Vladimir, her job is also to kill him and restore her family back into power. However, as she gets to know him, as she spends more time with him, she begins to realize that not only is Bishop not the person who she believed him to be, but she also starts to question everything that her family has ever taught her about this situation and about the war and about the state of the town and everything else. And she begins to realize that things aren't as black as white as they led her to believe. Now my review. First let me just say that I love this. I love this so much. It is such a good book and I want more people to read it because I need more GIF sets on Tumblr. I haven't found enough GIF sets on Tumblr and I need more. The things that I loved about this book. This is not a typical YA romance dystopian story. First of all, I do want to say if you're looking for a dystopian that is action-packed, that kind of leads up to a revolution and this whole changing of the world and battles and all this kind of climactic stuff, this isn't really the book for that. At least not in the first book. I'm guessing that might become a little bit more prevalent in the second book since the title is The Revolution of Ivy. But for this book, I really do think that the main emphasis is the relationship and that is my favorite part of this book. The relationship is so, so solid and it is not your typical relationship of star-crossed lovers who kind of fall in love at first sight and they kind of battle everything to be together. It's not that kind of story. I found the story to be really, really believable. This is more of a story about two people who are really good together, who are kind of meant to be together and are really a such a great couple, but they come together in the most unfortunate of circumstances and I just love them so much so so much. I found myself immediately invested in this relationship and I think a lot of why I love this relationship so much is because it is so believable. They really get to know each other. Also as well both characters individually I really really like them. I enjoyed them each as individual characters as individual people and particularly for Ivy I just loved her growth her personal growth. She is definitely set apart from her family in that she speaks her mind. If she believes that something is wrong, she kind of acts first and then thinks later, um, which I really, really like that about her. She is someone who is not afraid to speak her mind, even if it gets her into trouble sometimes, but she always stands her ground. She knows what she believes, but at the same time, she's not afraid of questioning her beliefs and of changing her opinions and of growing as a person, which I really, really value that about her. And 
Oh, I just love her character development so much. Of course, we have Bishop, who is just the perfect guy, and I need a bishop in my life, okay? I need someone like Bishop. He is my dream guy. He is seriously pushing the envelope, guys, for my perfect man. My fictional boyfriend's list has been disrupted a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. Particularly what I loved about him is that he is very self-aware and he is very aware of the power that his family has. He's very aware of the things that his family has done. But at the same time, he is loyal to his family, but he's not blind to their mistakes and the things that they have done. And again, like Ivy, he is willing to question things and look at things differently. <sighs> Guys, I just love them. I love the character so much. I really do. And oh, OTP5 ever. Okay, that's enough about the characters. Let's move on to the actual story. So like I said, this is not a revolutionary action-packed story. There isn't a lot of that in this book particularly. However, I found myself reading this mostly in one sitting. I was having a really difficult time in the beginning because I kept getting distracted. I was watching a lot of Dance Moms. So I would read about one page and then get distracted and watch like five episodes of Dance Moms or something. And then I would go back and read another page. But when I seriously started avoiding all distractions, I turned Lifetime off and I just focused on this. It, it hooked me. I recommend this for anybody who is nearing a reading slump or if you just want something that's fast paced and addictive and makes you fall in love with the characters that you could just kind of fly through. I really really recommend this for that. So that is my review and overall I gave this book 5 out of 5 stars because it may not have been completely perfect but the enjoyment factor, guys, was off the charts for me. Full five stars. I loved it. I can't wait to get my hands on the second book. I already ordered it. It hasn't shipped yet. I'm frustrated about that, but I'm very, very excited to read it. Okay, so that is going to be it for this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know if you have read this book, what you have thought about it, and if you have read the second book then don't tell me anything guys. I am waiting for my copy to get here. I don't want any spoilers. Please no spoilers. That is gonna be it for this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Bye guys! I think I have a pretty good selection here. A lot of books that I'm very very excited to read.